All right. Now we know. Do they? In Smash? Oh, they do! Wait, no. Do they? I thought it's just Lucas, but it's a different skin. Or does somebody say, say his name? Huh, I don't remember. Alright, all these mementos given me. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All the mementos. You guys don't deserve them. They're all a bunch of jerks. Alright. Wait. I saved after the hot spring, right? Okay. Oh no, why? <laughs> Damn you. Uh, get out of here? Okay. No time! There's no time! Okay. Also, I didn't realize till halfway through that fight I was using the more expensive full heal when I'm pretty sure the 120 heal would suffice each time. Actually, that's not true because I think he does like 170 to me per attack. So I'd just constantly be getting mortal damage. He'd probably catch up with me eventually. I got the mementos though, so I could have at least gotten that fight to go a bit farther. I mean, I figured hitting him wouldn't... Wait a second. I did raise my defense though. What if I just have... Some campy halves. Oh, the difference is just all ends. One. So I can save myself some PP doing that. Don't take as much damage, possibly. Ow. Unless I get smashed. Very first attack. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Son of a bitch. I think I accidentally just called mom a bitch. So if I have to go through this again. <laughs> yeah, see I was worried that'd be a thing. Alright, I'll pepper in full heals. Here and there. Yeah, so that's 160 ish. Which I then won't heal all the way <clears throat> with that. That's not gonna help you. Ah, oh, jeez. I forgot you could do that. Ow! <laughs> yeah, full heal. I assume that it's turned based when uh it has to be turn based because I'm not doing damage or anything, so can't be timed base. That'd be silly. Just sit and wait for the next scene. Oh no, I did <laughs> I did it again. Yeah, I know Lucas. That's interesting though, it's not until after Dad gets injured, Lucas will hit Lu uh, <laughs> Lucas will hit Lucas. <laughs> Lucas will hit Klaus. Claus. The masked man. Johnny McMask. Even.
Was I doing full heals? I'm starting to think I wasn't actually. No, because I was still getting mortal damage, which could have only happened. I mean, it's happening now, but wasn't happening before, so I must have been full healing. Save some PP in case uh, this fight goes on longer than what all the mementos can do for me. VHS effect. He's distracted. Quick, fully heal. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> too, uh, too antsy. Oh, okay, cool. Get into this part. Dad, you can't block Ska. <laughs> Ska is unblockable. Dad got hit by Skull Omega. He's skanking his life away. I missed that part, Flint couldn't stand up. Jesus, Klaus. Real asshole. Start not mattering in a bit here, though. I feel like I ran out of PP quicker this time, or roughly the same time. You know, I'm doing this clever strategy. Ah, jeez. Do you ever run out of PP, Klaus? That's all I want to know. Well, at least this time I'm not getting scolded by mom. <laughs> now this is roughly... Where I died last, right? There's a couple turns after this. I think there's another pause. Yeah. 
it does have so much PP, I know. I mean, granted, I could do Ska Omega twice and maybe Ska uh, Beta or whatever a couple times. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't read it as a joke. <laughs> Little kids, man, you know. Really gotta go. Oh, this was the part. Okay. Yeah, just about at the point where I'm running out of magic. PP, rather. <laughs> One year older than Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. So, well, here's to my magic. Oh my god. I was pulling the big guns. I mean, what was. Just let it happen. I'll just roll over. Just roll over and take it. Ow. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Hey, Mom didn't yell at me again. I'm hoping the game isn't like... Oh, this is the part where you should be attacking. You know, without directly telling me that. And then I just die because I didn't know that the game wasn't going to keep, you know, pausing the fight to try to get through to him. Yeah, he's really going through a lot of turns before I die. <laughs> it's really taking a while. There we go. That's one memento. I really wish I had every single one, but I accidentally... I didn't accidentally leave one, I just happened to not have the inventory space. I'm not gonna get over that. I almost had every single Magipsy memento, but no. I talked to one, had full inventory, and instead of being like, get rid of some shit, and it's just like, well, guess I'm out of here. So much for your memento. Yeah. <gasps> Lucas and Klaus are anagrams of each other. I already knew that. Don't don't take that joke too seriously. <gasps> yeah. Holy crap! Well, thanks for the raid, Oma Oma Chow. Party seven. Dang. Oh, jeez. I'm I'm not reading. I no. <laughs> and thanks for the follow. <laughs> Oh, it is an awesome game. I recommend you look away if you've never played this game before. <laughs> Thanks again. Man. They have. I hope yours have been too. <laughs> you too, man. Thanks again. Lucas be vibin'. Wait, who's talking? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter who's talking. <laughs>
I want the music to keep going. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess uh, some evil thing in the darkness just ate the rest of my teammates. Well, crap. Now what do I do? Was that the game telling me to fight? Because it sure didn't seem like it. Hey, bro. Have some trivia. Well. Still nothing. <gasps> that wasn't a very good attack. Aww. That's right. That's right, bro. You know me. I'm, I'm not either, Lucas. I'm really not. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Okay, let's not get too crazy here. You may actually kill me. Oh, just kidding. No, you won't. <laughs> That's right. Can you do that, bro? Ow! What? Hey! But... but, but oh. I thought it was going to get weaker, but... Huh. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah.
You know, I've seen my friend beat this game. So I knew about Klaus and the Masked Man. I'm really glad I forgot about this part, though. <laughs> Probably because at this point I was like, oh, well shit, why play this game now? <laughs> I know how it ends. It's like, blanked out the memory. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay, I won't be a dick. Dad, how do you know all about this? <laughs> I've been talking to the gypsies too. <laughs> I just I just remembered Porky still in the <laughs> the orb. <laughs> He's rolling him around. <clears throat> Terrible time to remember that. Yeah, let's do it. I'm waiting to see this dragon. Lucas the evil one. <laughs> oh no. Ah, <laughs> so close. The dragon's as big as the island. So what was pulling it with good intentions gonna do again? 
Oh yeah, does it does it doesn't like reset reality or something? Is that I think that was it. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. You don't know. We don't know. Nobody knows. And that's it. You can't even hit any buttons. Damn. I mean, fuck. <laughs> it's just like Klaus. I'm, again, really happy that even knowing about the whole Klaus is the masked man thing, like, Porky's appearance completely surprised me. Um, Klaus's decision <laughs> at the end completely surprised me. Um, it's a pretty great, pretty great and boss if you can call it that i always enjoy when rpgs kind of make a fight sort of story oriented and not so much just you know defeat the enemy before they defeat you it serves a purpose other than that um yeah mother three finally i'm glad i finally got to fin finish it it was fun uh, definitely has just as much, if not more, charm, um, than Earthbound. Eh, I mean, they're, they're pretty even. I was surprised by it, though. I mean, clearly, I don't know how much of the dialogue was actual straight-up translation and how much Tomato sort of had to, you know, make things more English-friendly, um, I know that's apparently a thing when translating sometimes is like the uh, the pencil eraser in Earthbound. They had to completely change that because the original joke wouldn't have made any sense unless it was in Japanese. So things like that. I'm curious to know how much of that was, you know, tomatoes doing and how much of it was just, you know, Etoy's crazy <laughs> writing. Um It's, I didn't get it as much from Earthbound, but I've definitely been getting into this, like, thing with RPGs and having, like, you know, this charm, this kind of, like, kid-like vibe, but then having really dark moments, like, kind of a dark interior to it. Um, there's a lot of games like that recently that I really enjoyed. Um, and I know Undertale, even though I haven't played it, is a lot like that. I had no idea um, Mother 3 would be like that. I didn't, never really got that from Earthbound. I mean, I know there's stuff in it that's weird, but I never took it as, like, dark, except for maybe the final boss. Eh, that's not true. There's some things that are pretty dark still. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I was happy to realize that I've, you know played one of those games or there's another one of those games out there um yeah my favorite <laughs> i don't even know what you call that but it's my favorite genre of rpgs now subgenre just the it's uh not not as not what it seems kind of genre so i've liked that a lot and in this one especially um combat is okay I still think the bosses are super hard, <laughs> but the pa the last couple of bosses are actually fun. As th they're trial and error, which I kind of didn't enjoy. Like I don't like having to die and then going back into a boss fight. Um, but that's probably just me being under leveled, ill equipped. You know, not able to turn around after realizing my <laughs> mistakes in a fight. Uh, so. That was that was fun. I did enjoy the last couple of fights and figuring out like, oh yeah, I have an all counter for physical, and oh yeah, these guys counter uh, uh, PSI attacks, you know, kind of thing. It's all just a matter of learning. 
It's also weird, and it's going to bug me, that I skipped Kumatora's area for so long in Chapter 7, not even realizing I could have gone and gotten her. And it would have probably made the two bosses that really irked me so much easier. Um, so unfortunately, I still kind of have that chip on my shoulder uh, without experiencing it how it probably should have been even though again the game didn't tell me hey come over here get kumatora the game let me continue without her um i wonder at what point the game would have been like you know i guess probably when i got the last last needle if the last needle ended up being in the chimera lab i would have had to go there anyway so that must have, yeah that's probably when but just the fact that you can do that it's so crazy but she ended up, you know, catching up level-wise at the end, the very end. Um, and uh, Earthbound and Mother 3, interconnected through story. Also did not expect that at all. That was kind of one of the things that I didn't appreciate when I first played this game way back, was that it didn't... I didn't get the Earthbound vibe from it. I definitely get it now. Like, I, I must, I don't know what it was about past me. Maybe I just hadn't played Earthbound for a while, but I didn't get that same feeling. And so that kind of turned me off to the game at first. Um, this time around, though, I mean, knowing that I was going to play it all the way through, it definitely, uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff I appreciated about it. Um, <laughs> that and the fact that I've, found out about the timed fighting mechanic totally played this game before got to like i want to say the train when you first get to the train or like the train tracks and you go through those tunnels i got as far as that point without knowing that you can do more than one attack per turn timing it to the music and um, that also turned me off to it because I ended up grinding a lot because I was like, well, my attacks don't seem to be killing anything right away. So what the hell? And, yeah. Which is weird because I'm st still pretty sure at no point does anybody tell you, hey, time to attacks, go with the beat of the music. I don't know, maybe somebody does and I was just like, oh, it's just the game being funny. I don't know. That happened a lot too. I didn't know when the game was joking or when it was being serious. But yeah, that has been Mother 3. Finally played it. Glad I played it. It's really good stuff. I'm glad I'm playing it uh, in tandem with Earthbound on my own. Um, I think that kind of added a lot to it, especially <laughs> Porky showing up. Um, I think I would have remembered a lot of the references, but having playing Earthbound again on my own past couple weeks alongside this definitely... Uh, added to that joy of realizing he was there and also totally calling that he was an old man totally calling it again i think the game hinted at it but still i'm a genius <laughs> no anyway thanks for watching though um i appreciate everybody who's stuck around and kind of talked me through stuff and just you know generally chatted it was, it was really fun um i'm glad this game you know Pull a lot of people in to check it out. Clearly a lot of fans out there. And fans of Mother 1, which I will get to. But I think, because October's coming up, I'm going to try the Halloween hack. I probably won't beat it, because I've heard it's tough. I know it's probably one of those things. Post-ending dialogue... Wait, what?